Hello everyone, a lot of you know me already, but my name is Patrick and I'm the co-founder and director of a ministry called Still Worthy. And the first thing I can say is just absolutely wow. From a year ago today when I was doing a similar video of my testimony that was shared last year, we had just been invited to the church and uh, Rusty, Rusty Thomas had invited us here, me and Dylan, the other co-founder. And just what a amazing, experience that we've had. Not only were we welcomed to the church, but we were welcomed with open arms and no judgment and just love from the very first day that we came in and shared a little bit about us and who we are and what we're doing. Not only just verbal support, but donations and uh, the pastors and even individuals in the church have been over to Still Worthy to minister us, to talk to us to do our speaker meetings. We've had residents um, at Still Worthy get baptized in the last year. And without the church family, I really don't know where we would be right now. I really don't think we would have had the internal fortitude without this love and support that we get from the church. Our residents love coming here. Uh, the pastors and some of the church leaders ha uh, have came out and met with us individually and have taken us to lunch and have come shared their testimonials. And it's just never would have happened without Charleston Baptist. And we are just so, so thankful for your support and your continued support. When we first came here last year, we had one house with about four people. Since then, we've gotten a second house, a third house, and a fourth house, all on Johns Island and we are able to minister to 20 different people is the availability that we have right now. And what we try to do is bridge the gap between addiction to sobriety. And there's a gap in between there. And for me, that gap was Jesus. It was finding Jesus, it was surrendering to Jesus, it was giving my life over to Jesus. And Lord knows I can't design anyone else's salvation or the moment that they come to Jesus because certainly didn't design it for myself, but what I can do is point them to Christ and share my testimony. And so many of you have, sh have shared your testimonies with me. I was surprised how many um, church members have gone through some type of addiction themselves and of course have family that has been touched one way or another with um, sons and daughters and brothers and sisters that were in addiction. And it just makes me realize that it's this battle that we're in isn't confined to me and the residents still worthy it's all over first and foremost your prayers have been tremendous and we know that they're taking place every day secondly the food donations the paper towels things that we need just to, to operate the facilities on a day in and day out basis and of course the financial support has also been um, tremendously helpful there's no way that we can run the operation part and the ministry part without financial support and all that you do for us just means so much and I'm so thankful to have this opportunity just to say thank you to you all and to Charleston Baptist and for everything that you do for us. We appreciate it so much. Thank you.